So Netflix has released Witcher season three and I haven't been watching it. I started, I, I watched season one and I didn't mind it. I thought it wasn't too bad. Watch season two, wasn't as good as season one. I didn't mind it either. I know that there's a lot of people that had a lot of problems with it and it already started steering away from essentially the source material. So I can understand why people had problems with it. The, pro the thing for me is that when I haven't played the game or I haven't dived, uh, dived, dove uh, massively into it, I... You know, I can sort of just see it on the surface and it wasn't too bad. However, there was sort of identity politics and stuff creeping into season two, but I didn't mind it. But then we get into season three and of course we had the announcement that Henry Cavill was going because they're not being loyal to the source material and they're going to be recasting with the Hemsworth brother, Liam, for season four. So, of course, because of all of this and because of how much Henry Cavill is a geek, he's a nerd, he loves the source material, he loves uh, Warhammer 40k, he loves his uh, Witcher stuff, he loves these uh, IPs and he loves being beholden to the source material. He actually doesn't mind that because that's where the whole thing came from and that's where the support comes from, right? But after Smear Campaign attempted to paint former star as toxic, Netflix's The Witcher cast praise, praise Henry Cavill as a very supportive and funny, good-natured professional. So I don't want to read the article, but I actually want to watch this clip because <clears throat> I saw this and I thought, hmm, there's a lot that sort of contradicts just in watching this, right? God damn, she's so hot, I reckon. The, you know, obviously this is uh, Henry's, you know, final, final season. The good news is we still have a couple episodes to enjoy of, you know, all you guys together. Um, I just want to pause there because as soon as he says this is Henry's final season, you can almost see all their faces just go, Hunk. like, they're sad about this. But taking us maybe behind the scenes a little bit, you know, what was it like uh, filming kind of the final episodes uh, with you guys as a group and, you know, how are you feeling about that? And also, how do they look happy? I mean, this smile that she just put on then is a pretty fake sort of smile. Does he look happy? Does she look happy? How excited are you for kind of the next chapter with Liam and what's to come? So excited. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to, to have Liam on board. And, well, he is, but like meet him and, and you know, Having him as Geralt, it's going to be yeah. bizarre. And I'm with, I, I, I feel like I'm definitely going to feel that loss. Yeah. yeah. I think we all will. He's, you know, Henry's been incredible and, and um, carried the show, you know? Mm. So definitely going to feel that. But oh, he carried the show, did he? And very excited. They all look very excited about having Liam come in and take over. Very, very excited for what's to come. There's so much story to tell. So, yeah. Yeah. So much fake Witcher story to tell. <laughs> even before she started speaking just the the eyebrow raise that she had like and then they look at sort of each other oh and free and joey do you guys kind of feel the same way chiming in absolutely yeah, yeah uh, it's, i think it's always i think it's ex it's intriguing and exciting yeah, to get so to curious. see another version of this or interpretation of this um character mm -hmm. yeah. uh Another interpretation of the character, like something that, that, again, look at their faces, man. I know this is a freeze frame. Like she's now looking completely disinterested. She's given her answer. She's looking at something on the ceiling. She's looking at something on the ground and so is he. Now, look, there might be monitors and this is what they're actually looking at because obviously it's done over, you know, they're, they're not actually sitting in the same room together. So there could be a bit of that. But again, they completely look disinterested in actually touching on this. Yeah, very excited. And uh, we'll all miss Henry greatly. And, you know, uh, as you say, behind the scenes, he's always just been a very, very supportive mm -hmm. and and funny, good natured, uh, you know, professional who was always the the first to to laugh on those bad days and to to crack jokes and that presence is you know cemented in the DNA of the show. Yeah, um, cemented in to, in 
probably our cat like uh, us playing our characters i mean I, I know that i won't be able to help but visualize him like you yeah. know um, going forward it's just that's being Geralt. but i'm still really excited to see something new as well mm. yeah <laughs> It seems so like they've obviously got to promote it. They've obviously got to like try and talk it up the best way they can. But like she's going to find it hard not to see Henry in that in that role when Liam's standing in front of her and they're doing these scenes or whatever. I I don't I don't know how like how anyone can sort of sit there and think, "Oh yeah, look, they look really excited. They're really excited about the next step moving forward with the witcher and again i haven't watched season three and i and because honestly because of everything that happened with henry I, I don't really have an interest in it and as i said i didn't mind season one i didn't mind season two that had a few issues for me but i i liked the characters i liked the way that it was sort of rolling out and I know that there are people watching season three that don't have an interest or hate what's actually happened um, just because it is Henry's last season. Um, and I know, I can't remember who it was that I was listening to. I think it was Wicked Virtue. Um, and she was talking about how when uh, Henry is in a scene, like it just, yes, I finally got some of the actual Witcher. We're actually seeing some of the actual Witcher. And then sort of you get 10 minutes of that and it goes off and does something else. But again, you look at their faces, you look at the way that they're talking about it, they seem apathetic about this whole situation. And again, with the smear campaign that did come out, right, on, on Henry or about Henry and how he's, he's toxic because who, like anyone that wants lore and, and wants the source material to be honoured and all of that sort of thing has to be toxic because it's embedded in, who knows, the patriarchy. Like, this is how things get reported. But then you go and see the other cast members talk about him. And like I said, it just comes across as they don't, they're not excited for it. They're getting a paycheck, so they've got to continue doing their roles. I mean, they could walk away, but they're not going to. It just came across as really disingenuous. They look very ap apathetic about it. And I kind of hate it because I did like the Witcher series. I liked it. 